Hi Taurus, welcome to your Life Sector Tarot reading with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign Taurus, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. They are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody, that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment before we start. As always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look for your actions and your plans over the course of August of 2023. You have the Daughter of Swords, so this is the Page of Swords. You have the Judgment card. Interesting fact, um, I was using a different deck before this. I always shuffle my decks before I get on camera. And when I was shuffling the deck that I was going to use for you, I dropped them. And the only card that dropped out uh, face up was the Judgment card in a different deck. So it's interesting that you've got this. And then you've got the Daughter or the Page of Pentacles. So two pages represents the energy of disquiet, right? We're talking about your actions and plans here. So there is some form of a disruption to your plans. But this is one of those times where if you can roll with the punches, you will be able to turn a disadvantage around and really put it to work for you, especially when it comes to the area of work, interviews, uh, you know, all of those kinds of things, especially where paperwork and the things or things such as are um, are considered as well. So if the stuff hits the proverbial fan this month, please don't freak out. It just means that you're being rerouted in a way, right? And it's kind of like if you can think on your feet and you can get out of the, no, it has to be this way and it has to be this plan. If you can adapt to what shows up for you, you'll be able to turn this to your advantage, all right? You've got to be nimble this month. For your uh, career and communications, you've got the Nine of Swords with the Star card. It'll be in your work with the Daughter of Wands, right? So three pages, because uh, you've got the page here, page of wands, page of pentacles, page of swords. Three pages represents uh, a dispute. And it usually is one that can, it, one that's not going away anytime soon, right? So you've got to sort of be present with it. Now you've got the nine of swords with the star card. This is where you don't let the outside world, especially things like social media, etc., change or adapt you, right? Now, yes, adapt to and roll with the punches that come up, but don't let it sway you, right? This month, when it comes to the work, the career, the professional, the academics, don't let anything knock you off your path. You have to find a way to roll with it. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever seen Kung Fu Panda. Really, really good film. Hugely, hugely funny. Um, and there's a bit where he basically learns how to redirect energy. That's what's happening this month, right? If you get into your head about it, you're going to drop the ball and everything's going to go to shit. I'm just telling you straight up. Or you can take it and say, okay, this sucks in the moment. How can I turn this to my advantage? It's going to be likely to be in the area of your work. Now, when it comes to your, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, um, you will probably be changing your direction. There's a couple of reasons for this. One, you may get sort of a, a way into a project or a write-up, etc., only to realise that this idea has already been taken or it's already been done in the way that you were hoping to. Or, um, potentially, for some of you, this could be that you get some form of notice, maybe a letter, an email, or a communication from your school, your college, your university, to say, um, you know, this thing that you were hoping for is not going to continue, or it's not going to continue in the guise that you are uh, used to working with it. So there's something here about a medium or potentially a platform that's going away. For some of you as well, I touch wood and I hope I'm wrong on this front, but remember Mercury is going to go retrograde this month at the end, sort of mostly towards the end of this month. Please, please, please back up your work. Oh my gosh, on a separate hard drive and do it before Mercury goes into shadow. I get these out early so that you can plan your month ahead accordingly. Uh, same message there for those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs. If you've spent hours crafting something, building a social media campaign or writing up loads of articles, etc., and you haven't saved it or something happens with your uh, computer through encryption or whatever and it all goes to, to shit, I'm going to be honest, a lot of you will end up losing work this month. 
please, please, please back up your hard drives. Now, for those of you that are uh, employed by somebody else, this could literally be that some idea or project or even um, concept that you've put together uh, for your, your boss or for the company or whatever, for the team that you work in, it looks like somebody's gonna try to steal your work this month. Um, when that happens, just call it out, right? Like be really, really loud and really vocal about it. Just don't stand for it. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, this could be that you are trying to get your mind around some new uh, technology that seems to be taking a little bit longer than you would like to get kind of get off the ground. For uh, your love and relations, you've got the Temperance card with the Ace of Pentacles, nice, and the Seven of Pentacles. So. For those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, this could be that the hard work that you've done on the relationship over the last year, the patience and the perseverance that you've put into your relationship now starts to show itself. This is where the rewards for that hard work and effort in a relationship actually starts to show up for you. For those of you that are um, single and looking and ready to mingle, this could be that you're meeting someone or connecting with somebody in your world over the course of this month that actually ends up being around for a long time to come. You might see it as much, you know, not much more than a fling. You might see it as, you know, not much at all in general. It might just be, you know, this person's polite and you seem to like each other's company when you talk in the, you know, queue to get your morning coffee, but you don't think much about it. But actually, this person's, are, they're gonna be around for a good while to come. Have patience while it develops. For your money and materials, you've got the sun card, you better get this money with, your, with the five of swords, okay, and the two of cups. If you are willing and you're able, as I said, to adapt something here and to just be really, really brutally honest or brutally loud and to speak up and to turn something to your advantage, you could walk away not only with a partnership, a collaboration or a business uh, connection or mentor or even professional one, uh, but also that sun card suggests that you are turning a situation to your favor by being upfront about it. This is one of those times, right? Usually Taurus doesn't like drama. You guys don't really like to get into the sticky and the thicky. When it comes to the hard work, rolling up your sleeves and doing all of that, Taurus is your person, right? Absolutely. But you guys don't necessarily like drama or messy displays of like and all of that. Unfortunately, this month, you want the goodies, you gotta take the shit with it, right? That's just how it rolls. You got the sun card with the five of swords. If you're not prepared to be vocal, to be loud, to get a little bit gritty, the rewards just won't be there. I'm just gonna tell you straight up. Uh, for those of you that are, or should I say, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, if you are getting into any sort of health regime, etc., do it with another person, but do it with somebody that's gonna challenge you and somebody that's gonna hold you accountable. It looks like you are, because that five of swords suggests that this person is gonna push and goad you to the point where you probably end up snapping, um, which, hey, listen, sometimes it's what you need. And then finally, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, uh, sorry, when it comes to your home and environment, this could be that you are taking remedial action when it comes to a familial tie that has been a problem, a challenge, or an issue. So you're rectifying a problem within a familial tie or relationship this month that I actually think could, could lead to some good conversation that you need. All right, with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.